Neil's experiment. We'll talk about an experiment. It's Neil's experiment. Okay. Van Neil. Let's see what he first questioned. Which component in plant contribute to the evolution of oxygen? Very good question. You see? Why? Let me come back. Come back. Come back. CO2. You have oxygen. H2O. You have oxygen. So where does this oxygen come from? It comes from water or it comes from carbon dioxide. What do you think? Tricky? We'll prove it. We'll prove it again. So Vani, let's see what this was his question. Is it carbon dioxide from which the oxygen is coming out? Let's prove. Well, studied photosynthetic microbes, green and purple sulfur bacteria. So look, look here. Note down the example. This is a very important experiment. Okay. Chlorobium, it's a green sulfur bacteria. Slowly, we'll take this slowly. Okay. So what he demonstrated is that photosynthetic bacteria. Here I'm talking about the green and purple sulfur bacteria. Please note this down. Okay. The grew. So this is the purple sulfur bacteria, chromatium. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's see. So this is a chamber. Yes, it's a glass stopped stoppered bottle. Now, this bottle had mineral medium containing salts. Correct? It had bicarbonate. It had sulfide. And see, this is the sulfur bacteria. So the mineral medium contained different minerals like sodium chloride was there, magnesium chloride was there. So the mineral medium was there. This is important. Note it down properly. It's a glass stoppered bottle covered, right? Sulfur bacteria is there and the mineral medium was there. This was exposed to sunlight. Well, do you find oxygen anywhere? No. Now let's move on. He observed that the green and the purple sulfur bacteria, they did not release oxygen. They did not release oxygen during photosynthesis. So they grew anaerobically. There is no oxygen there. They are not releasing oxygen either. Correct? In the presence of carbon dioxide and light, they did not release oxygen. Wow, it's interesting. Okay? We know that oxygen is released due to the process of photosynthesis. They are photosynthesizing, but oxygen is not released. Weird, right? We were we did we spent so much of time to prove that oxygen is released during photosynthesis, but here photosynthesis is happening, but oxygen is not released. You know what? This will help us prove from where oxygen is evolving. Let's see. He observed that green and purple sulfur bacteria did not release oxygen during photosynthesis. They grew anaerobically only in the presence of carbon dioxide and light. That's it. Produced sulfur and sulfate respectively. So they produced elemental sulfur or sulfate as the byproduct and not oxygen. Initially, we were studying oxygen was produced as a byproduct, but here sulfur and sulfate is produced as a byproduct, not oxygen. Fine. So this was the conclusion. Well, so oxidation of water results in the liberation of what? Oxygen. Oxidation of water, not carbon dioxide, results in the liberation of oxygen. Water provides hydrogen in order to reduce carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Well, you know, you will study something. You will study the photosystems in this chapter of photosynthesis. You will study about the electron transfer. All these are you are going to study. You are going to study a lot about this. So don't worry about these terms right now. You know, water provides hydrogen. This is essential. The electrons are essential because electron transfer is essential for all this process to happen. Don't confuse yourself right now. These things will study. But just understand that the electrons are essential for some major process of photosynthesis to happen. Well, so water provides hydrogen in order to reduce carbon dioxide to, to carbohydrates. The glucose I'm talking about, right? So let's see here. You see the equation? 2H2O, carbon dioxide, 2A, this A is coming up, CH2O, the general formula, sugars, and h 2 right? So A here can be sulfur or oxygen, depending on the organism, correct? 
This can be sulfur or oxygen depending on the organism. Correct? Got this point? Well, so what can we conclude that the oxygen is coming from not carbon dioxide but water. If water is used, if water is used here, then oxygen is released. If hydrogen sulfide is used, H2S is used, okay, then oxygen is not released. Instead, sulfur, here you will get sulfur deposits. Got this point? Well, this proves that oxygen is released from water, not carbon dioxide. 